Hey, it's Mike, and I'm out at um, Valley of Fire, where the petroglyphs are. Uh, just northeast of the Las Vegas Valley in the Overton area. Beautiful country, but what's really cool is I'm here with my daughter's school. And you see all these, like, chipmunks here? You see these? These chipmunks come out, and they've been trained because they've been doing this for a long time, and it's sort of bred into them as um, one family passes it on to another family. But they come out where the little um, patio decks are here to eat. See all the people eat? Okay. And what happens is that they come out looking for food. And the kids or anybody else will throw food out for them. And they come darting out real quick. You know, they've got that super fast metabolism and those fast twitch muscles. But let them come out and uh, take the food. They'll take it real, real quick, but they're all over the place. It's really kind of cool. And then what they do is they take it back into this little warren of homes inside where all the roots and this brush can protect them against predators. And the reason that they move so fast, of course, is because they don't want to be out in the open for long because either a hawk could get them from up above uh, or another predator, a desert fox or a coyote or something else. The only thing that really can get back here into these little nestled homes that they have are, of course, snakes and lizards because some of that brush is really, really thick. And uh, the bigger predators are probably not going to want to go inside there unless it's uh, a really, really hungry predator. So kind of a cool look at the Valley of Fire and some of the ways that the natural animals have adapted here and to live in concert with men and human beings. They've become little scavengers. That's kind of cool. So we'll say goodbye, Mr. Chipmunk. Bye-bye.